interim welterweight championship and the right to fight the welterweight champion George St. Pierre to unify the title. I'm the most well-rounded fighter in the world. I feel like I'm a more technical fighter than Diaz. I have more weapons in my arsenal. I just bring some different stuff to the table. This is an amazing fight for the interim title against two guys who easily could be the very best 170-pound fighter on the planet. Where you at, Carlos? But Nick Diaz smells blood like this. He swore vicious hooks to the body. In order to love fighting, I have to hate it. You gotta love it so you want it so bad. You're forcing yourself over that line, over that limit. But once they say go, it's go. I'm just a different athlete, that's all. This guy's striking continues to improve exponentially. I'm a warrior, that's what I am. And I always knew I was. Nick is very good at what he does, but the question is whether he's going to be able to take as much punishment as I'm going to dish out. I love to fight. This is my passion. I would do it for free. Putting it all on the line, I expect to win. I have the skills and the abilities to take Nick Diaz out. I am the better stand-up fighter. We'll see what happens. Nick Diaz is relentless. He can take a good shot, but if he take the easy, he's going to be able to take elbows. Nice elbow by Condit. You know, it's a different thing when, you know, it's a shin across your face. That's a nice thought, you know, right? Go out there and throw some kicks and some elbows and win the fight. Can you get that stuff off when you're running backwards? I want to use my technical abilities to destroy him. It doesn't work like that. I'm going to win. It's just the way it is. I'm taking that bell home or I'm going to die trying. Born killer, Carlos Condit, the last champion in the welterweight division of the WEC. 13 career wins by submission, 13 career wins by knockout or TKO. Joe Carlos Condit has never been knocked out or stopped with strikes and has a very active submission game. Like his opponent tonight, Carlos Condit has never lost a championship fight. And he doesn't plan on losing tonight. Well, he has shown his durability, especially in the Jake Ellenberger fight. He was caught in that first round with some big shots, weathered the storm, and came back to win a very close decision. He has shown the ability to come back. He has shown the ability to adjust. He also showed that the Rory McDonald fight. Lost the first two rounds, stopped Rory in the third round. He is the elite of the elite in this 170-pound division. Carlos Condit. Last fought in July. And it's been a wild ride to get to this point for certain. In October, he was scheduled to fight BJ Penn. George St. Pierre was scheduled to fight Nick Diaz. Nick Diaz didn't come to a couple press conferences. So then Carlos Condit was told he's going to go five rounds for the championship against St. Pierre. Then St. Pierre gets hurt. BJ Penn scheduled to fight Nick Diaz, and he steps aside for a moment. Then he was scheduled to fight Josh Koscheck. 
And with GSP out of the mix, that brings us to tonight and Carlos Condit's opportunity to leave as the new UFC interim welterweight champion and assure himself a future date with the longtime welterweight champion. Sensational. It was so because of Carlos Condit and Nick Diaz and what they're all about, their fighting DNA. But I think the best quote that I heard from the longtime trainer of Nick Diaz, the great Caesar Gracie, is that Nick shuns the spotlight and craves only combat. Well, you know, what, what Cesar Gracie had said about him, that he doesn't like the pretentiousness of press conferences. It's true, man. This guy is as real as it gets. When it comes to fighting, there's very few guys like Nick Diaz. First of all, his approach to the game is completely unique. His style is completely unique. The way he attacks is unique. His endurance level. There's very few human beings, forget about fighters, but very few people, even endurance athletes, that have the aerobic capability that Nick Diaz has. Nick Diaz steps into the United States Marine Corps prep point. The United States Marine Corps, the few, the proud, the Marines. Nick Diaz drags fighters into a pace that they cannot sustain because he knows that his endurance threshold is so much higher than the average person's. One of the days they came to watch him train, he sparred 15 rounds, ran five miles, and then swam for an hour and a half. Who the hell does that? Who has swam from Alcatraz twice for a goof? Nick Diaz, that's who. That's a rare human being, and the pace that he can put up and sustain is second to none. And it is one of his tools that he carries with him into the octagon, as well as some of the best boxing in MMA and world-class Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Both men have excellent Jiu-Jitsu. Both men love to strike. Both men define mixed martial artists. Both men truly represent the fighting spirit of the UFC. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening, is brought to you by UFC Undisputed 3. In stores, February 14th. 28-year-old Diaz against 27-year-old Condit, who is two inches taller. The reach is identical. With the official introductions of our main event, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. Presented by Bud Light. Sanctioned by the Nevada State Athletic Commission with Chairman Skip Avancino, Executive Director Keith Kazar, Commissioners Francisco Aguilar, Bill Brady, TJ Day, and Pat Lundball. Our lead physician, Dr. James Gain. Our three judges scoring this contest at Octagon Side are Judy Shiro Camijo, Patricia Morse Jarman, and Cecil Peoples. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Steve Mazzagatti. This battle is sponsored by Bud Light. Here we go. Dodge, the official automobile of the UFC. Metro PCS, wireless for all. And now, live from the Mandalay Bay Resort and Casino in Las Vegas, 